Dubai projects are always fancy, always meeting the highest standards and codes, leaving everyone amazed by how beautiful and how unique the designs are, giving the best experience for the tourists and the residents of the UAE. And today, we're gonna talk about one of the most interesting new projects in Dubai, which is Zabil One Towers. These towers took really special care to achieve a really massive cantilever. Let's talk more about this project in today's video. subscribe to my channel please subscribe like share comment and hit the notification bell on so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video but for now let's get into our video the newest addition to dubai's skyline is a mixed use two tower project with a horizontal connection housing one of the largest cantilevers in the world designed by the japanese company Nikin sakai and developed by Ithra Dubai. The project is close to Dubai's International Financial Center, International Airport, and the Gold Souks of Dira. So it is situated at a junction between the ancient and the new city of Dubai. Twin skyscrapers are constructed as part of one Zabil's creative design. The world's first vertical resort will be housed in Tower A, which is 300 meters tall and will contain offices while Tower B, which is 235 meters tall, will be focused on housing. The 3.39 billion dirhams development will have 77 high-speed lifts, 263 residential apartments, 12,000 square meters of retail space, 497 hotel rooms, and 37,000 square meters of business space. The project also includes a horizontal building called the Link that is hung perpendicular to post towers at a height of roughly 100 meters above ground. A rooftop, terrace, gym, spa, swimming pool, function hall, and a number of restaurants and bars will all be located at the Link. The project has one of the largest cantilevers in the entire world. This mixed-use sustainable building will be a contemporary hub for a range of residents and tourists to Dubai. Thanks to its strategic location and world-first engineering techniques, the 58-story residential tower will have duplex and single flats. The new headquarters of the Investment Corporation of Dubai will be located in the second tower, which will have 68 stories and include an ultra-luxury hotel, serviced apartments, offices, branded residential units, and penthouses. The two towers will feature four levels of podium space above ground and seven basement floors with retail, dining, and meeting space. The Link Sky Bridge Lift, the Link Bridge and its cantilever, which was built on the Wanzabil podium, were successfully lifted into their final position in 2020 by challenging strand jacking operation that took place in two stages over the course of 12 days and then three days. Custom temporary steel ganty structures had to be constructed and partially inserted into the long-lasting concrete walls for the 9,400-plus ton link bridge. Enabling works below ground, Wan Zabil is as spectacular. The Middle East's deepest basement, with a depth of 38.5 meters and a height of 
seven stories will have room for nearly 2,500 parking spaces as well as storage and maintenance facilities, maximizing above ground efficiency. The basements enabling work took 24 months to complete and the concrete's extraordinary depth necessitated the development of innovative dehydration, curing and stabilization methods. Two subterranean tunnels at the basement two and basement one levels link the two buildings and their respective basements due to the tunnel's proximity to the piers and foundations of an existing overhead highway bridge. Designing and building it was challenging. Sustainability. Ithra Dubai wanted to achieve LEED Gold certification for the structure. High criteria for sustainability are incorporated into the development with a focus on energy and water efficiency, enhanced indoor air quality, thermal comfort, and waste reduction. This dedication helps Dubai's goal to become one of the world's most sustainable cities. For instance, in the contrast to normal developments, in the area, the building facade is designed to limit heat gains, which lowers the cooling energy demand required to maintain comfort in the structure. A successful irrigation system is also present and treated sewage is used to further limit the usage of potable water. Also to ensure adequate air exchange, the fresh air supply rates were created in accordance with international standards. Materials, paints and adhesives with minimal volatile organic compounds have been carefully chosen during the fit out to minimize the effect on end users' health. The WSP team played a key leadership role in creating creative solutions for a number of technical challenges that one Zabil had to overcome because it was such a unique project, including offsetting both buildings, constructing the one-of-a-kind cantilever launcher on site, and accommodating a live highway that ran directly through the middle of the two connected towers. Given that the teams were fully aware of the demands and restrictions, this was a significant accomplishment. I think that Dubai's projects are always unique, outstanding, and cannot be compared to any other projects in any country in the world. They always want to make the best in the market, to leave everyone amazed at these projects. Now tell me what do you think about One Zabil Tower? Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notifications bell on so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.